Let's get popping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking game. Not that game. We're going to be talking the game. A game between two of, it's an annual rivalry game, all right, played between two of the biggest powerhouses, two of the greatest teams in college football history, all right? So here's where it gets going, all right? So these two teams, you're already going to know who it is. These two teams combine for the most national championships between any two teams. You could combine any other two teams in college football history. None of them have as many national championships as these teams. These two are going to be at the top of it, no matter your metrics. These two absolute powerhouses throughout all of college football history. And uh, it does not include Ohio State, does not include Michigan, does not include Florida, does not include Texas, does not include LSU, does not include Alabama, and any other team that you could think. Oregon's not even close. All right. Nobody else is even close. We are talking of the two powerhouses of Harvard and Yale. And we are talking about the Harvard wins 29-29 game. Let's get into it. So we already know all the fluff behind the game. Yale coming in looking for their 17th win. They're trying to go 17 in a row. Trying to get an undefeated season. First time both of these teams have come into this game undefeated. They both want to leave undefeated. We already know all the fluff. Let's get to the actual game itself. Let's get into it. John Bellatine is back to receive the initial kickoff. He snags it on the run. Goes immediately towards the sideline. Slips through a couple of Yale defenders. Cuts back up to the 39-yard line of Yale. Here we go. They didn't capitalize on the good field position. John Ignacio has them, though. Intercepts Brian Drawling in the first quarter after Harvard fails to capitalize on it. Takes them all the way back down straight near the 38-yard line again. Here we go. Nick Davidson, senior running back. Takes a handoff. Sneaks outside. All the way down to the Harvard 36-yard line. 42-yard run for the men. Later in the same drive, Brylon Drowling takes the ball on a bootleg into the end zone for a two-yard run. Yells up 7 to nothing. Drawing scrambles on a play-action rollout. Gets caught up by two Harvard defenders for making a miraculous across-the-body throw to fullback Calvin Hill in the end zone. Yell up 14 to nothing. Subsequent kickoff, John Bellatine. Again, back to return. Man, this man finds holes everywhere. Back on the Yale 37. This man only knows that 37-yard line. Here we go. Yale punts. Insane punt lanes inside the one-yard line. This whole machine is running really smoothly for Yale here. Here's a subsequent punt. They couldn't do anything. It's blocked. Lands near the 8-yard line. Snagged around the 7 and dropped where he grabbed it. Here, Drawing makes another amazing play, finding Dale Murray in the end zone after scrambling around. He was nearly bottled up again. He gets tossed out in the end zone <clears throat> after the successful, albeit sloppy, two-point play. Yale leads 22 to nothing in the second quarter. Here we go, handoff to the outside. Patrick Conway comes in, knocks the ball loose with his helmet. Absolute bruiser on Calvin Hill. Harvard gets the ball near midfield. Frank Champy comes into the game, tosses an absolute bullet to the tight end for Harvard's first touchdown of the game. Yale leads 22 to six at the end of the half. Here we go, got a punt going on here. Harvard gets a pretty decent punt off, lands at the 22 yard line. Bob Janino smacks him right here, gets the ball out on the ground. And Harvard's ball on the 24 yard line. Here we go, Frank Champy, it's a wide receiver this time. Tumbles all the way down to the one yard line, just about. Gus Krim in the backfield, takes it in for the one yard run. Harvard's second touchdown of the game. Harvard lined up for the PAT, this would get 13 points. They get it in. 22-13, final quarter. Brian Drawling takes the snap, steps back, looks around. Slip through the Harvard defense all the way down to the five yard line for a nine yard run. Brian drawing to the right side, immediately knows he's running to the right side. Heading for the pylon, gets a nice block from the wide receiver. Yale is up 28 13. 
nearly blocked, but the helmet rolls off. Yale leads 29-13. Drawling drops back, waits for the screen to develop. Drops the ball off to senior running back Nick Davidson, who takes it all the way to the Harvard's 14-yard line. Mike George is from behind, smacks the ball out, gives his team back the ball. Less than a minute remaining in the game. Harvard pulls off a beautifully executed reverse play to John Bellatine, who runs down the field for 15 yards before he gets out of bounds. Champion takes a snap, backs up, steps up, gets hit, ball comes out. Senior offensive end Frederick Reed picks up the ball, runs all the way down the field, gets to the Yale 15 yard line. Champion hits tight end Bruce Freeman, who runs a man over straight into the end zone. Scores 29 19, 39 seconds left in the game. Two point conversion to make it a one point game. One possession game. It's incomplete, but there's pass interference on Yale. There we go, into the end zone. Gus Krim. Here's the onside kick. Slips out. Yale couldn't come up with it. Harvard gets the ball back. Here we go. Shampy drops back. Runs up. Looks like he's going to be snagged from behind. He takes off. Gets a good chunk of yardage. Gets dragged down by his face mask. That's plus 15 yards. Harvard runs a draw play here. Nobody's expecting it. Everybody's thinking pass. Takes it all the way down to the six yard line. Last play of the game, clock is at zero. Champion drops back, steps up, pump fakes, steps back, throws back to the other side of the field and his receiver comes down with the grab. 27, 29, everything comes down to this two point conversion. Champion takes the snap, looks over, immediately throws it to the left side of the field. Didn't even look, didn't even know if it was open. They got the two-point conversion. Harvard wins, So obviously you cannot win a football game 29 to 29. It's still a great headline and the story behind it is amazing, right? You have an amazing game that was played. You come in as an underdog and your team ends up winning when they're down by 16 points with 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The feeling in the stadium must have been one of we just won the game, you know, because when the game is lost and it ends up not being a loss, it feels like a win. So Harvard obviously felt like they had won the game. Yale obviously felt like they had lost the game. So the Harvard Crimson, the paper that they print after every game, it's it's a tradition that they, they, they have a headline of, of who won the game after the game every year. They came up with the title, Harvard Beats Yale 29 to 29. Now there were some dissenting voices inside of the Harvard press, they didn't want that going out because it technically wasn't factual. Uh, they ended up convincing the higher ups to allow them to print the headline and it ended up winning headline of the year. It was a great story and ESPN put it down as the number nine tie in all of college football history. I didn't know there was a, you know, I didn't know you could rank how well ties are in college football because at the end of the day it's still a tie, but that's, that's an amazing story. And thank you guys for watching this. If you want to see more football content like this, subscribe.